how to set in volleyball, how to avoid common mistakes, what is the ideal position for setting. These are not easy questions to answer, but I will share with you a great way and exercises how to set in volleyball and this advice will help you a lot. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. I'm speaking about volleyball advice, tips and exercises. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notification on. Setting is one of the volleyball skills we need and my advice and exercises aren't just for setters but for all volleyball players since every player has to set from time to time. When I played in Italy we did on almost every afternoon practice short setting exercise. But before we start let's speak about common mistakes we do when we are setting. First kind of mistakes are related to place where we touch the ball. We are setting the ball under our head like this. Some players are setting the ball behind the head and that isn't good. And we can see also players setting out of body axis. Other kind of mistakes are about our elbows position and not setting the ball. You can see players setting the ball with elbows in very wide position. Thumbs are not involved at all and there is a big risk that the ball will fall through your hands while setting. Elbows close together are another setting problem which we should avoid. In such elbow position we are forced to bounce the ball instead of setting the ball. In the end we have also wrong position of the fingers. We can see fingers like claws. This way you risk finger injury. On the other hand some players have fingers together and flat hands. This way you can't expect good set and the referee will probably whistle or your set as a mistake. Thumbs in front is also common mistake we can see. Some players are not using all fingers and setting only with three fingers. So these are common mistakes you should avoid, you may also injure your fingers. On the other hand, when you watch the best setters in the world, it seems that setting is easy. It's kind of natural movement for them, they have very good technique, strong fingers and body, good footwork, they know where they set, they can read opponent and set on single block. Everything is connected and working like in a symphony. They are just great and we admire them. But don't be mistaken, they had to spend a thousand hours with a ball practicing setting. And I want you all to become good setters, to avoid common mistakes, because even mini blocker has to set uh, from time to time. So all players need at least uh, basic setting skills. My advice how to set in volleyball isn't just from my head. I learned a lot from famous coach Roberto Piazza. And Roberto learned from Kim Ho Chul, former South Korean setter, one of the best setters uh, in the history of volleyball. When we set, we are trying to touch the ball with hands in a triangle position. It's similar like if you were holding telescope in your hands when you want to watch the moon. As I mentioned before, the hands position and the ball position are very important when you want to set the ball. If you are in the bad position, don't expect a good set. One of the best methods and advice from Kim Ho Chul how to learn ideal hands position is to join your palms while watching them with your eyes. Elbows should be at the level of your eyes. Thumbs are about 10 cm from your forehead. Create kind of roof with outstretched fingers. And then simulate the set without the ball. Both hands are moving at the same time following the same path. When you do this roof in such hand position, it won't allow you to open elbows. You can set the ball under or behind your head. Your fingers are outstretched and you are also using your wrists. You will just eliminate all common mistakes that you could do. And you will keep ideal hands position for set. 
Keep in mind one more important point when setting. You should always have one foot a bit in front of second foot. They shouldn't be close to each other or at the same line. The exercises I present are for adults but also for children. Normally children under 12 don't have power to set the ball. The force of incoming ball is too big and they can't set to longer distance since they don't have uh, enough power. If you want to learn how to work on set with children, check out our online mini volleyball course. Ok, now we come to exercises. Practice the roof position without ball. Fingers outstretched, elbows in eye level, one foot in front. Make 20 repetitions. Hold the ball in triangle position, throw the ball about meter or two over your head and catch it overhead, bend hands, don't catch uh, just close to your head. Perform 20 repetitions. This one is similar to previous exercise. Throw the ball, play the ball with your overhead like in football and catch it again over your head. It's important exercise for your footwork. Throw the ball, connect palms to roof position and catch the ball over your forehead. We will combine throwing, roof and set. Throw the ball, prepare roof, set the ball and catch it. In this exercise, try to set 20 times above your head with roof. Throw the ball, prepare roof, set, make roof and set again. At the end we add supplementary exercise for strengthening your fingers, triceps and shoulders. Push the ball against the wall, change foot position. You are doing kind of push-up. So these are my advice and exercises which will help you to learn basic setting skills, advice and exercise that every volleyball player can do alone, at home or in a gym. I'll see you in the next video, bye!